thanks uh, for tuning in today. I just want to talk a little bit about slow motion in Topaz Video AI. I've been using it for a little while now and it saved, it saved my videos on many, many occasions. And I just want to go through how I set up my sort of uh, slow motion but it's very important that you know you still got to have the right settings in the camera like for what i found for best results is to use a constant shutter and frame rate like 25p and 50th shutter and 25 50 and 100 so you know you always double your shutter speed to your frame rate if you get that right then everything else is so smooth I've seen other people use this and it's come out very jerky in that. and that's because your shutter speed is, is changing all the time and obviously the software may be great but there's times when you know you can't keep up with everything or the frame rate is changing so if you have a smooth frame rate already set up in your camera then you'll find you're going to get the best results well I do uh, anyway so on this uh, video I've actually um, we'll show you after this where I've done the normal speed of the elephant and then two times four times eight times twelve times and you'll find that it's it's actually nice nice and smooth so um, the settings uh, that I actually use over here well here is all the um, frames that I'm going to be using I've already done these because it does take some time to download and everything to render so um, I've got these ready to go here so what I do then is I come over here, um, I look at my Kodak settings here yeah, and H.264 profile high and I just come over here, I, I use this one quite a lot for um, most videos but sometimes with animals, yeah, this one here is actually quite nice and works, it shows you a lot of um, details in the skin and the fur for wildlife so I kept it to there. The original output, which I will keep as it is, I come down to here and I'll just clip on frames. I'll just click on that at 50 frames original. And I come to stabilization. I'm just, I will go back up. I'm just showing the quick ones I do. Stabilization, I always leave at 50%. Rolling shutter, I'm not doing fast animals in flight or anything, so a little bit of um, jerky motion. I'll put the uh, activate that, so apply correction. So, as for speed, I come here to the slow motion and I can choose which one I want two, three, four, five, all the way up to 16. So, I like I said, I've done two times, four times, eight times, and the last one was 12 times. So once you've done that, you've got it all how you want to get it all set. You know, you can even crop the image in if you want to. So if you click on this here, you can actually crop in if you like. Move it about. Okay, just click that little tick there and then you can crop in. It's really, really good. And if you want the video to start at a certain point, what I normally do is play the video. Obviously, this is already slowed down to a a really slow motion that I've already done so once I've played it I actually put one of these where I want it to start and then I carry on playing then I hit here again the mark out and this is my section here that I'm going to record so obviously you could put this anywhere along your timeline just here and once you've done all that you've got it all right you've set all the slow motion none obviously you pick whatever you want to do so now it's even going to do this get it all right all you do then is click export and wait and it is a waiting progress but um i'll show you some videos what i've done now with this elephant and how i've done it but obviously like i said you know you can use these markers in the markers out to where you want the video to start and finish and you can crop in come back over here, redo your settings i normally do this part first before i do this um, but like i said it's just a quick tutorial on how I work on this and uh, I'll show you the videos what I've done in normal speed 2, 4, 8 and 12. 